Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. In the overnight session, we were using the 97 to 99 area as the bull bear zone. And the idea was that as long as ES holds above it, the buy side can still maintain control and a break below it could shift control to the sell side. The primary move we were looking for yesterday was a test of the 83 to 86 area. And uh, this is a pattern that we've seen over time where when that directional move you're looking for doesn't happen on day one, it can be a delayed reaction and it happens the next day. Now in this case, it happened in the overnight session, so that primary move that we were targeting yesterday at this point has already taken place. And um, at this point, heading into the open, we're going to be keeping an eye on the 86 to 87 area to help us establish short-term directional bias. If the market actually holds above 86 to 87 and uh, then starts breaking out above 91, 92, then we can get a move up to 96, 98 half potentially the gap fill at 2175. If we fail to hold 8687, then the market is going to be set up to make new lows and uh, break below the overnight low. So even though we have short-term support at 82 to 84, the zone may not hold because it has already been tested in the overnight session and a continued break and a failure at 86 to 87 would signal the sell side still in control. And at that point, we could get a move down to uh, the 78.75 to 79.75, which is a minor area of support, and a move down to the 74.5 to 76.5, which is still a support zone where we can get a reaction from the buy side. So heading into the open, the main idea is that the bigger move we were looking for yesterday has already taken place. So now we have to be a little bit more careful. We have to be more conservative because that downside flush is out of the way. And... Um, the market doesn't necessarily have to continue liquidating on the day time frame today because we are still stuck in a range. You can see that we are still stuck in a sideways balance and um, the market has already tested a decent support zone in the overnight session and at this point the downside could be done. So that's what's going to make today a bit more tricky is that we're going to have to gauge once the market opens just how much more weakness there is in this market. and. Uh, the 86 to 87 area is going to help us figure that out. And if we're holding above it, then we have to be careful on taking any aggressive shorts uh, because we could simply return back up to 96 to 98 half. And uh, that could actually be a good long setup as long as we're able to get some decent location on it. Now, if we fail 86 to 87, then there could be an opportunity on the short side for a move down to 74 half to 76 half. And, uh, you know, again, that zone still has potential to hold and we can still get a tradable reaction off that zone and potentially even a reversal depending on uh, just how much volume we're seeing in real time. Uh, right now in the overnight session we're running on over 200% relative volume and if we continue to do that once the market opens if the relative volume remains high and we can sustain that high level of volume then we can still get some decent volatility and decent range on the day time frame. So keep an eye on 86 to 87 uh, that will determine whether we can go down to 74 half to 76 half and then if there's extreme weakness and uh, the markets start developing into kind of a trending or a trend down morning at least uh, then there's potential to go to 65 to 68 but we just have to take it one step at a time and uh, you know 74 half to 76 half is uh, pretty decent support in between uh, you know the 86 87 all the way down to 65 68 so off the open, let's see how the market reacts to 86.87. If you are looking at the other markets, then in the Russell, keep an eye on the 12.57, 12.58 area. If that area holds in the Russell and uh, we continue balancing above it, then again, that would support a uh, upside move and we could get some uh, decent movement back up to 96 to 98 half in the S&P. So those are our main thoughts heading into the open. Let's see uh, how the market holds up at 86.87, how it reacts to 91.92, and we'll take it from there.